Once the contraceptive pills have been decided to be withdrawn, they'll have to give four days of no pills. So these are known as four pill free day. And then on the fifth day, if it's possible for you, come to the center so that we do an ultrasound, see if there are no leading follicles. All the follicles are of the same size and that's when we start you on the FSH injection. In case you're not from town, then we'll have to take a chance and start your injections as it is on the fifth day of stopping pills. So this constitutes your first day of stimulation. The same amount of FSH injection has to be taken for the next four days. So for the first five days, the FSH injection has been taken at the same time every way. Either in the stomach, in the tummy, in the skin, we call it the subcut or the intra fat injection or in the forearm or in the thighs. Your nurse will teach you how to take the injection. These are very simple, don't even cause as much pain as an ant bite and I would rather prefer that you inject yourself. Once these injections have been learnt and you start taking it yourself, you take it at the same time every day for first 5 days. The 6th day of injection, it is preferred that you come to us for an ultrasound. That's when we check whether any of the follicles that are now growing up have crossed 14 mm in size. Once they have touched 14 mm in size, now that could be on the 5th day of injection or 6th day or sometimes on the 7th day of injection also. We start giving you another injection called the antagonist injection. Now essentially what this antagonist will do is make sure that you do not ovulate before time. It will prevent LH surge which will lead to ovulation. So now you are having two injections. The FSH injection as before and a new injection called the antagonist injection. Really speaking, both the injections could be taken at the same time or could be taken two hours, three hours apart. Makes no difference. Once both these injections have started, that's when you know that you need to, your partner needs to abstain from sexual contact and he might be called upon to give a semen sample any day now. Usually it takes four or five days of antagonist injection for the eggs or the follicles to be ready. We call you for an ultrasound almost on an alternate day basis. So you might be called for an ultrasound on the seventh day and the ninth day or the eighth day and the tenth day. Once the eggs have reached a size of 17 millimeters, we will tell you that the eggs are now mature. Once the eggs are mature, on that same day you will have to take the antagonist also the FSH injection and along with that you'll have to take the ovulation trigger injection. Ovulation trigger is the single most important injection in the entire stimulation cycle. Make sure that you understand about the ovulation trigger in complete details from your nurse. Ideally speaking, we would like to give you this injection. But unfortunately, in most couples, it has to be taken in the dead of the night when we are not functioning. So then we have to trust you to be able to take this injection properly. And because mistakes can happen anytime from anybody, we need to call you the very next day to confirm whether this injection was taken properly or not. This is something that you have to grin and bear with us. This injection makes sure that the eggs finally mature and they can be taken out 35 hours later after giving this injection. This injection could either be a single shot or two pricks in your tummy, in the fat. Generally speaking, these injections are given when we have finally confirmed to you that the follicles are mature. Before giving this injection, make sure that your FSH shot and your antagonist shot has also been taken for the day. That is to understand that the day that you give the ovulation trigger, the other injections also need to be taken and they should not be stopped on that day. 
So on the day of ovulation trigger, you have taken your FSH injection and the antagonist injection as usual and then you are planning to take the ovulation trigger as at the time given to you by your nurse. That injection has to be injected yourself in your tummy. The injections are very simple. Anybody who has seen how to inject these injections can do it himself or herself. Once these injections have been taken, they start creating an artificial LH surge which stays in the body for next 18 to 24 hours. So if we call you for a urine test next day after 12 to 14 hours, we can tell you from checking the urine whether you are having a LH surge or not, which means that you have taken the injections properly or not. This LH surge will lead to maturity of the follicles and the eggs inside the follicles. Giving the injection will make sure that all the eggs will mature together. Thirty-five hours later, after we have given the injection, you will be put under anesthesia and the eggs would be extracted under ultrasound guidance with the help of a long needle. Don't worry, this is not painful. In fact, it's rather painless. It's like drawing the blood from your veins. But because we do it vaginally, because the position is a little awkward for you, we might have to give you some light anesthesia to knock you out. There are a lot of patients that I have who insist on getting the ovum pickup done without anesthesia and we are very comfortable doing that for you. In case you want yours to be done without anesthesia, please mention that to me. Once the eggs have been taken out and hardly takes 10, 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, you are finished as far as this month is concerned. Then our work starts. We take the egg and the sperms together, form embryos, comment on the status of the embryos to you. In the next couple of days, we are ready with a few embryos to transfer to your womb. Now, as we might have discussed already with you, we may transfer these embryos this very cycle or freeze them to be used in the next or the next cycle. 